Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, online learning uh, for teaching geography. So I would like to uh, divide the session into two. First I will talk about the definition and also on the design. Uh, for example, I'm going to talk about uh, designing multimedia uh, instruction. So uh, in teaching geography, uh, what our teacher trainees uh, need to do is to come up with uh, multimedia courseware. Okay? We cannot simply assemble any teaching uh, materials and put, on a, put onto a CD or pen drives. So according to Hooper, 1988, uh, the principal challenges in uh, any interactive multimedia courseware, it must come with ped pedagogy and design. So uh, pedagogy here means uh, you must have the method, the strategy of uh, achieving your learning objectives and your Teaching materials must also be designed in a correct way. So, uh, basic, basically speaking, uh, a multimedia courseware can only be effective if the uh, strategies that are put in place can achieve your learning outcome or the uh, learning objectives. Uh, according to uh, GATS, nine events of uh, instruction. So you must have uh, your objectives planned uh, in several uh, in nine steps. For example, uh, the first step is gaining uh, instruction. Okay. Uh, sorry, gain attention. And then you have to inform the learners of the objectives and so on. Stimulate, recall uh, them of their prior uh, learning and then give them the materials. For example, you give them the pictures, show them the videos and etc. And uh, then you have to provide the instruction or the guidance uh, guide them step by step uh, on how to use the materials to provide provide the uh, the outcome, or you would say maybe uh, you ask them to ask uh, ask them to write an essay. Okay, um, so that is under this uh, uh, eliciting the uh, performance. Okay, after that, the teacher need to provide feedbacks, assess their performance, and uh, have a discussion with the students so that in such a way that uh, the uh, retention can be enhanced and the transfer of knowledge uh, can happen. Okay, so uh, on the multimedia uh, uh, so-called courseware, it also must be, uh, so uh, you must have the motivational elements. So according to Keller's uh, motivational model, uh, for example, ARCA part uh, in particular uh, is very, very uh, important. For example, A for attention, R for relevance, uh, C for confi uh, confidence, and S for satisfaction. So the multimedia that you present must catch the attention of the users and also it might be relevant and the users must have confidence in using the material. For example, you are uh, providing the correct facts and uh, show uh, enough evidences uh, that can support the materials. Okay? All this leads to satisfaction. Uh, so, uh, and other other uh, components, uh, I mean, uh, other things you must look uh, to. For example, uh, font. 
must be uh, readable. Uh, shouldn't be too big, the, uh, the font size, and also wouldn't be too small or you can read. And you must choose a very suitable uh, background so that you have a good contrast. For example, uh, black and, and white or blue and white would be a very good one. Or if you have any uh, photographic uh, background, I think the text should be uh, highlighted or put in boxes. Okay? And the arrangements of text and pictures must also be done uh, in such a way that they look tidy, neat, and always adopt a common look. If you have buttons, uh, for example, you want to uh, uh, navigate from one page to another, the common look must be there. The bu buttons must be same. Okay? So, for example, uh, if you have the uh, buttons for next, periods, and so on, uh, so make sure it is uh, uh, it's the correct button. Okay? And all the interfaces must be user friendly, functional. And if there are certain uh, interfaces, uh, that can provide information, especially on uh, feedback, it would be uh, recommended. Okay? For example, you shouldn't let the user wait for too long because the user may suspect that uh, something is wrong with the, uh, the computer, maybe uh, hang or whatever. Okay? And also, all the bu buttons and links must be fix fixed at one location. Uh, for example, at the bottom right hand side, it might be consistently there all the time. Eh? Cannot be uh, suddenly on the left, on the top, or at the bottom. And further on, uh, I will talk about the, uh, the online learning, okay? the e learning. So uh, basically, they are asynchronous and also the synchronous. Okay? Synchronous means uh, uh, is live, okay, and usually uh, there would be a personal participation from the users, okay. Uh, for example, uh, Skype, uh, Classcast, and so on. It, it, this this type of activity is uh, synchronous, and of course, in e-learning, we can also have the asynchronous one. For example, you have forum, uh, ask students to send in online assignments. Uh, these activities, uh, student can do in a, in, in a comfortable and relaxed way. Okay? Uh, they can do the activities uh, anytime, anywhere, at their own convenience. Okay. And the definition of e-learning is, there are so many, but it basically it would uh, mean the same. For example, it, uh, a lot of people will call online learning, online education. Some will call technical, uh, uh, sorry, technology-based learning okay, or web-based learning. And uh, if it is a uh, course, courseware, it can also be uh, uh, called a computer-based uh, training. And in uh, course, for example, in uh, the teaching of geography, uh, usually it, it, can, it, it can be a mix of face-to-face uh, -face and online learning. So uh, in this situation, we, we call this as blended learning. Okay? Um, the degree of uh, blending it depends on the needs uh, of the uh, curriculum, but most uh, practitioners would like to uh, have a 30-70 uh, 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 ratio. That means face-to-face, uh, uh, -face you have 70% and another 30% would be online learning. So through the uh, synchronous and asynchronous activities. Um, what are the platforms? 
that you can put the materials, for example, multimedia. So uh, basically, uh, most in, uh, organization will use Moodle. Okay, in US, Blackboard is the main one, and also cost networking, and uh, there are other many other LMS, uh, Schoology and Model, Open Learning. Uh. For example, there are some LMS which can uh, uh, host uh, MOOC courses. For example, uh, Open Learning and Coursera. Well, the advantages of uh, learning online is, for example, self-paced, at your own pace, meaning that those intelligent ones can do faster, slower, slower, uh, uh, slower one can uh, do at your own pace. Okay. And there is consistency. And uh, for the instructor, instructor, it's easy to uh, update the content. You can change anytime, any anytime and anywhere. And also, uh, the quality of the content is uh, would be good because you can do uh, updating from time to time. And for the student, understanding can be increased. According to many uh, uh, studies, um, multimedia can increase uh, a, 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 you, a learner's uh, understanding because you have many, many different types of uh, uh, learning man material. For example, you have used video supported by audio and also graphics. Huh? Um, in terms of activities, uh, students can participate in uh, a lot of activities such as uh, forum, quizzes, and also assign assignments. And uh, e-learning always en encourages uh, independent uh, learning, meaning that uh, students will learn uh, uh, ind independently. Okay? If the instructions are very clear, and they do not have to depend on the teachers or instructor. So, uh, as a conclusion, uh, in geography, I feel that uh, multimedia is something that is very, very good uh, for uh, trainee teachers okay, who are going to teach geography in the schools uh, through the online uh, platform okay and lms in in this way learning uh, can be faster and also uh, it can be quite effective because of the uh, use of multimedia in teaching and learning uh, i would like to end this session and i would like to see everyone again thank you very much and bye bye